Hello, my name is Jay, and today we're going to be making a Discord server kind of combination. This will only cost you around 30 bucks, depending on what you get. And I want to say this, that I also know what I'm talking about here because I run a Dis uh, Discord bot that has around 7,000 members on it. It's a partner bot you might have seen around, basically partner servers, but I'm not here to advertise that. Basically, what I want to do today is show you some simple, cheap ways of having something at your house that you can use uh, to pretty much host your Discord bot on that's not really expensive. And of course, if you have a lot of members, then it really are a lot of people using your bot, then one of these will work perfectly fine as well for that situation as well. So first off, I'd recommend doing this only if you're needing this bot to be up all the time, because most of these are really good, simple, cheap options that provide a lot of power if you're solely doing you know, your bot. So what I'm going to start off by saying is first off, you really need to determine what you need from your server as well. So there's a couple options. Number one, we've got a nice little quad core, um, you know, system right here. It's got quad core, one gigabyte of RAM. This is 30 bucks um, compared to a single core. Um, I think 512 megabytes of RAM and that will probably serve your small bot if it's probably running uh, this is a raspberry pi by the way and this is an orange pi this will serve your bot if you're running probably around under uh 200 servers which should be fine for the average person now if you're getting up into the thousands which i happen to have three instances of the bot running this is your best bet because it allows um, one bot if you don't know some depending on the software only utilizes or a single core. So this gives you the option to run four simultaneously, allowing you also to have a gigabyte of RAM. Now, if you're needing something a little bit more RAM intensive, uh, this chip right here, which happens to be a little bit bigger, um, actually has passive cooling, so you can put in a full server. Um, but the other thing is, um, these are two gigabyte sticks of RAM, and um, these, um, I might upgrade actually, but this is a two gigabyte stick, and you can put up to four in here. So basically, if you're sitting there and you're going, Oh well, I need to get something like, I don't know, another, um, I need to have four gigabytes around compared to the one gigabyte you're sitting on here. This chip um, is actually like 50 bucks, but um, it gives you a lot more peripherals. You have a lot more access to various said things. You've got um, you know a whole bunch of ports on the back. You've also got ethernet, which of course does come on all these other chips, but um, this has just got a little bit more IO support. Um, I will say this though, is that this does need to be passively cool, this chip. Um, and this is basically just an Intel Atom board that you can find, excuse me, online. And pretty much that's all you do is you just go online and you get the options. Um, this has like stuff to power hard drives. It's really basically an all-in-one mini computer board um, that has pretty much just excluding the graphics and stuff. That's pretty much all in here as well. That's what each one of these, one's is graphics and one's is, um, one is the CPU processing. But when you're doing a Discord bot, you really need to figure out what you need. So like, for example, um, I don't know, I'll say I need like a big bunch of RAM because, you know, I'm, I'm doing something that's very RAM intensive and I built my bot that way, is you get this board specifically for that. So now that you've picked out your chip, um, there's a couple things to keep in mind. Number one, you want to make sure that you have decided and figured out what operating system will run your bot. Um, keep in mind, if you have a file that's written in Visual Basic, C Sharp, um, or anything that's .NET, um, you will need to get a Windows uh, operating system on there. Now, the good thing about this is you won't be using this, so this will actually be a really good idea to get just a regular old-fashioned key. Um, uh, you don't even need to buy a key, you just install Windows on there. You can use the trial version, in essence and pretty much just install it on there and go about your business and don't have to worry about it because this at least this board here has four cores as well and it will work perfectly fine with running one of them on Windows and Windows minimum requirements is like a one core CPU at one gigahertz which I don't understand but basically that would be good for your bot and give you plenty of room um, especially if you want something that will last and especially if you're talking about a couple thousand servers so the other thing about it is if you're not interested and um, basically, um, if you're not interested in getting, or you haven't written your bot in one of those languages, um, the best bet is to also go with a Linux version, uh, depending, of course, on what your bot is written in. So the final thing is, um, the reason why I put Windows, or I will put Windows, I actually have a flash drive back there, um, in on this is simply because I wrote my bot in C Sharp. I like C Sharp because I know it. Um, and then me and my friend also wrote it, so it wasn't just me that wrote this bot. But the big thing is, I want to make this point because this is kind of important to talk about, you know, what's running your bot. Because if you have something other than Windows 
Um, the big thing is Windows is just important for, as I said, those people that have written their bot in something that's .NET because even with Wine uh, on Linux, uh, depending on how you wrote the file, it still won't be compatible. The other thing I will say though is if you're interested in getting um, you know, one of these, the best way to do it is through USB, having all your files stored on a USB drive, only 32 gigabytes. As long as your bot's not creating absor uh, you know, massive amounts of files, you'll be good on storage. You can also set up a hard drive disk, but it does tend to be a little bit faster if it is a flash drive, depending on what your stuff supports. I believe these are USB 2s, so I think it won't make too much of a difference. But um, if you're one of those people that really is a picky about <coughs> a specialized chip and that's the best way to go for here as well so if you have any questions i would say go down in the discord below um there's not really much building it um I, it's really picking out the parts is the most important part um most of these chips have cases that you pretty much just plug in your stuff there's a micro chip here um you could always have your operating system on here and throw a flash drive to store all the files and that way if you need to book out or something you know you really need to, you know, move your server. I mean, I don't understand why you wouldn't just take the whole thing. But if you really need to take something, you take the flash drive and wouldn't lose all your files. Um, and then, of course, the Raspberry Pi would, I'd probably say, be the very minimum, minimum that you should use um, simply because it's just really just a one kind of core system. And this, I'd also say, would only be if you have a Linux written something written in Python or one of those languages that does not need Windows because this um, Linux can run... Um, pretty smoothly without a, a huge processing core. Uh, after that though you really do need to upgrade if you're getting something Windows wise you need to get upgrade to something that has four cores at least. So um, I hope you enjoy this video. If you're sitting there and you're you know wondering how you, where you should put your bot um, make sure you uh, put that down in the comments or check out the question series on my channel where I can actually answer that for you and also I have a discord down in the description where you can also get that uh, question answered as well. But thank you for watching, hope to see you around and if you enjoyed give it a thumbs up, if you didn't I'm sorry and uh, yeah there's not really much to build on here, I wish there was because I, I was really itching, to, really itching to build something. But um, thank you for watching, hope to see you around and goodbye.